There we go, there we go, bonus video, bonus video today. This is the second video publishing today on this channel. The first one was all about the Nike shoe lineup and basically I want to make the point that I am not sponsored by any running shoe company, any running shoe store that is telling me which shoes I need to review. Frankly, I'm beholden to no one except for you on YouTube. I'm here to test and review shoes for you. So I just wanna make that point that Ultra, this video, and Nike, the video this morning, upper right hand corner, two completely different types of running shoe companies. They're like on different planets basically. So I'm excited to talk to you about these Torrens, my full thoughts, my full review, back in the shed. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The second video publishing today. Again, the first one was all about the Nike shoes published this morning. And so, as I said on the trails, uh, I am beholden to no one. I am reviewing shoes for you guys on any surface, even though this is a road shoe, the Torin 3.5. And by the way, the 3.0 is the best selling road shoe from Ultra. So they're definitely doing something right with this shoe. But I also wanted to just experience the zero drop feel of this of the ultra shoes on the trails just to see like how my ankles were, re were reacting, how my calves were reacting to the uneven surfaces, what my foot lockdown would feel like in, in the knit uh, version of the ultra shoe. After taking the ultra Torin 3.5 out on the roads, out on the trails for the past month, here's like where I'm at with this shoe. You have your normal like Saucony, New Balance, Nike, uh, Asics, that kind of that that traditional running shoe lineup. And then you have this really big revolution of the barefoot running that kind of took hold, gosh, was it about a decade ago? Maybe a little less, maybe around 2010. Remember all the five finger shoes and the like going barefoot running? Well, I think Ultra is basically attempting to blend traditional running shoes with the barefoot running movement that took place like 10 years ago. That's what I'm sensing when I when I run in this shoe. Now Ultra, their hallmark is the zero drop effect. So from heel to toe, a zero millimeter drop. So it's a flat uh, bed that your foot is resting in inside this shoe through the midsole. And so what did I think about the zero drop? It's fine. Like it's nothing to write home about per se. Nothing that exciting, but at the same time like I thought it was it felt good for stretching out my Achilles. I could feel a little more work happening in my calves, which again, we're going to talk about why I'm going to use this shoe moving forward, ultra shoes moving forward, but no complaints about the zero drop. I do see how if you're not used to zero drop, you'd have to be a little careful like you could injure yourself if you're not if you don't ease into these zero drop shoes but um anyway i didn't notice anything like earth shattering by running in zero drop it just uh it felt fine it felt fine it felt like i was getting a stretch through the achilles and a little more of a workout in the calf area and so the toe box in the ultra shoes is so wide it allows your toes to spread out a lot kind of giving that barefoot feel to running where you're not constricted by the walls, the outer walls of the shoe. And I must say, for easy days, it feels amazing. Just to totally, like the foot is just completely relaxed within the shoe. As far as comfort, really comfortable. Really comfortable in this shoe. Lots of good cushion in this shoe in the Ultra Torrent 3.5. No issues at all with pressure points anywhere. It just is a really comfortable shoe. And even through the outsole, they, they have this, they call, they're calling it the foot pod technology with this rubber through the, through the outsole. And basically what they're attempting to do is trying to map the, the bones in the bottom of your foot so that the shoe is like really, I don't know how they're doing it, but that's what they're advertising is they're trying to map the bottom of your foot through the outsole, through this rubber, so that it's as natural a movement as possible with the harder rubber versus the foam. And so is that working? I'm not sure. I probably need a little more experience in Ultra before I can say like, yeah, I can feel that mapping happening on the bottom of my foot. But that is what they're going for through this outsole uh, using their foot pod technology. As far as maybe a little drawback to the Ultra Torn 3.5 is this tongue. I'm not a huge fan of the knit tongue. I, 
it just seems to be a little like it, it moves around a little too much when I'm running or even when I'm just lacing up. I really like a, a tongue that is almost a little more on the rigid side so that I can really place the tongue on my foot right where I want it. Whereas this knit tongue, it's like really flexible and stretchy. And um, I just, anyway, I, I must say like that was probably the biggest drawback to the shoe. And I know it's like a small detail, the tongue of a shoe, but for me, it's, it's kind of a big deal actually. So anyway, I'm hoping that Ultra, I don't know what they need to do to improve it. Maybe just make it a little more rigid somehow so that I can place the tongue right on the top of my foot where I want it. And yeah, so that's one one little drawback. Will I buy the Ultra Torn 3.5 again? Maybe, maybe. Actually, you know what I'm gonna buy next? Probably the Escalante, the Ultra Escalante. The bigger question is, will I buy an Ultra shoe ever again? Yes, yes I will. Will I ever race in an Ultra shoe? No, no, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. I think a zero drop in a fast racing environment doesn't exactly make sense listen though some people are doing it some people are pulling it off really well right now where they're racing fast in ultra shoes i don't quite see the scientific benefit behind racing fast in a zero drop shoe listen why would i run in this shoe moving forward and this is maybe you're wondering like should i try ultra or not i think it'll strengthen your legs strengthen your calves stretch out your Achilles tendon. So I think this is a good maintenance shoe. Again, for those easy days where you're just kind of bopping along, but you want to work on the overall strength of your lower legs. That's where I'm going to use this shoe moving forward. Uh, I don't think I'll ever do tempo runs in an ultra shoe, but I must say for my plantar fasciitis, and I know some people disagree with me down in the comments and that's okay. And by the way, let me know what you think about wearing ultra shoes when you have plantar fasciitis. But, and the keyword of the day is drop for zero drop shoes. And question of the day, would you ever buy a zero drop shoe? Why or why not? And if you're a huge fan of Ultra, let us know. Come up. This is your time. This is your time to shine down in the comments. Like, make your case as to why you love Ultra running shoes. And listen, bottom line, I am excited. It's not going to be a racer. It's not going to be a tempo shoe. I think this is going to be a great winter uh, maintenance shoe. Just staying healthy through the winter. Capiche? On the zero to 10 scale, I'm gonna go with a seven. Almost a seven and a half, but I'm gonna go with a seven out of 10 for the Ultra Torn 3.5. That's a pretty good score for me, all right? That's a pretty good score. So, not too shabby. And yes, that brings us to the end of today's bonus video. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing the videos, and thanks for being here. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Time to go drink some tea.